Hey, so what's going on everybody? So I have one more video here to share with you in regards to rooting the Google Nexus 5. Now, right now the phone is actually rooted, the bootloader's unlocked, and I did a video on that previously. Now I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and unroot it, flash the original stock firmware, and go ahead and relock the bootloader in case you had to send it in for uh, warranty or anything like that. Um, this puts everything back to factory stock. So just be careful doing this, and before you do it, make sure that you guys, again, whatever you've done so far since you've been rooted, uh, make sure that you guys back up all your stuff, pictures, files, music, and all that good stuff. So let me go ahead and um, click on the Nexus Root Toolkit. If you guys watched my previous videos, you should have all this stuff installed and ready to go on your PC. So basically what you want to do is open up the toolkit and we are going to go ahead and connect my phone with the USB cable. And I have the developer options. You should be all good there. All that stuff should be on and if you've made it this far. So it should just detect your phone. It may want to install some drivers at this point, but anyway. To go through this process, the first thing you want to do is uh, select Devices on Normal, click Flash Stock, and Unroot. Make sure your phone's connected. All right, we already know that. I'm already unlocked, so I'm just going to click OK. And it already knows what I'm going to do here. It knows what flash to get and all that good images and all that good stuff. So automatically download and extract the factory image. Select it above for me. Go ahead and click OK. Now it's going to start the process of reflashing the stock firmware and unrooting. I will probably have some links in my videos here for you guys, so if you didn't see how I originally downloaded everything and rooted the Google Nexus 5 phone, I do have that video available, and I'm hopefully going to put the link in this one, because this is actually the second part to it, and this just takes, it does basically the reverse of what we did in the beginning. So this puts you back to factory condition. If you had any issues with your phone, you could probably send it in, like I said, for repair. downloading hammerhead so that part is complete the hash check should be match should be a match Extracting factory image package. Please be patient. If you get any, if you have any issues right there, and it comes up and says it can't find it or not detected, just unplug the cable down here on the phone. Plug it back in so it can redetect it. So checking fast boot status. It's gonna go through a bunch of stuff here. As long as you're careful and you follow through with everything, all right, it should be just fine. Flashing stock will factory reset your device. Be patient. Also, disregard messages about SIG files missing. So go ahead and click OK, and you're gonna get the command prompt here. Now it is going back through and doing, it's flashing the stock image and unrooting. So, probably going to do a lot of things here like flash and a bunch of pop ups. Archive does not contain boot.sig. That stuff doesn't apply or doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. All 
I'm sure there is other ways to root and unroot your phones and tablets with Android, but this is really, really easy, and it's almost fail-proof. You know, you might run into a few bugs with this program, like it doesn't detect your device or MTP. I think it is, you know, can't detect it or didn't install correctly. That stuff is very, very minor. And on the Wugfresh website, there is a ton of FAQs, a ton of support. You know, they back this thing up, the Nexus Toolkit, and I'm um, looking forward to seeing what other stuff they have coming forward here because it's a wonderful, wonderful program. Once this is all done, I'm going to get the phone to be rebooted back up here. All we're going to have to do is one last thing, and that's to relock the bootloader. Now, you guys don't have to relock yours uh, for security reasons. I mean, I'm going to relock mine, and for purposes of the video to show how to relock, I'm going to do it. So. Again, if you ever want to root again, you can just unlock the bootloader. Download this program, unlock the bootloader, reroute, or go through and root. I guess you could call it reroute. You could root your device again. Okay, so here it says press any key to access. The, cool, the toolkit to perform other operations. I'm just going to press that. And the phone is rebooting. And it, it says here sometimes it's possible that flashing stock will cause your device to incorrectly display your available internal storage. So, you know, you're doing a lot of major things here. One, this is a pretty cool notice that they applied. Um, in order to fix that, if you guys notice you're having trouble, it's not showing the correct internal storage. What you want to do is follow this stuff here. You just go into your settings, find the backup and reset tab, and do a factory reset. And it should automatically boot into the recovery and factory reset itself and uh, that should correct the issue there so I'm just gonna close that notice I'm almost finished up here we're about eight minutes into the video alright so we're at the welcome screen let me get through here I think I can skip right past all that. Not now. I'm just going to go ahead and finish. Because all we want to do is get back to the desktop. Alright, so we're back at the desktop. Now what you want to do is go back into your settings. Give it just a minute. Go back into your settings. Now down here, again, you need to re-enable the developer options and put that in there so you can go in and turn on USB debugging so we can finish communicating with the computer. So I don't have, you know, every time you factory reset it or wipe it out, this thing disappears. So click about phone, go in here to where it says build number, click it about seven times. It'll say you are now a developer there. Okay, click the arrow back. May I go into developer options now. Again, they're already turned on, so scroll down where it says USB debugging mode. Check mark that. Select OK. There, allow USB debugging. There is always allow from this computer box here. You want to check that. Check mark that, so you're not prompted all the time for the same old thing. And up here in the notification area, you can see USB debugging connected. So you're all connected and ready to go now. One last thing we have to do here is relock the bootloader. So just come over to your desktop screen here and click OEM lock, click OK. It's going to go through and the state down here where it says unlocked. It's probably difficult to see. I know my camera is a little bit blurry through some of this. It's going to change to a lock state. 
and this particular method does not wipe out the phone. So again, waiting for your device. Device detected. Pushing reset tamper flag zip to your device. Boy, would you believe that? Am I really getting a phone call in the middle of that? That's funny. Okay, so rebooting your device into bootloader mode. That was great. Checking fast boot status. Lock state still showing unlocked. Booting TWRP temporarily. Relocking bootloader and resetting tamper flag. Now the lock has disappeared down here. And it's booting back up. Waiting for your device. I'm not sure if it'll restart one more time. Device detected, deleting reset tamper flag. Your device should now be relocked with the tamper flag reset. To confirm it, look at the Google boot screen whenever booting your device. You should no longer see a little unlocked icon. Press OK. And that's it, guys. The phone is back to factory, complete factory condition. So thank you guys a lot for watching the video. And that's really funny that I got a phone call in the middle of that. But anyway. Thanks a lot, guys. I uh, hope you subscribe, like, comment my channel, and you have a great one.